Hello everyone and welcome back to my Hearts of Iron 3 Let's Plays Germany. So, <laughs> where we left off in this uh, <laughs> mop up, because <laughs> there's no other way to talk about it other than as a complete and utter destruction of everything. <laughs> um, where we were is that uh, I was just, well, as I said, I was just completely annihilating everybody and, you know, they pretty much weren't dis you know, even coming close to doing anything to try to stop me or in, in any conceivable way, so let's uh, head back to uh, conquering the Soviet Union in less than a year, I might add. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. It really sucks when uh, and you win every single battle, you know? Because it takes all the fun out of it, you know? Because then, you know, when you do so... Alright, fuck it, I'm tired. I'm tired of gloating. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm sure you're tired of it, too, or whoever's just watching. So, let's get back to it, shall we? <laughs> yeah, I figured just as much. <laughs> God, look at all that production. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I can literally almost outproduce the U.S. I've almost got more IC than they do, and if I was uh, doing the cl uh, something other than collaboration government, I probably could outproduce the U.S. right now. That's how that's how bad it is right now. I I'm, I am just so I I am so <laughs> I have won so hard in this game. I can't even begin to describe how hard I have won this game. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the brutality of the of how well I have won this game is beyond all imagination. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty boring. It's gonna be kind of exciting too, because you're probably gonna see a lot of stuff that no one has ever done in this goddamn game. I mean, for one thing, you know, the uh, I have never seen anyone successfully invade the U.S. in any uh, Let's Play I've seen is Germany. Oh, look at that, they're attacking my HQ with their HQs. I wonder how that's gonna end up. Oh, did nothing. I guess since I'm attacking their HQs, they're probably gonna run. Yeah, they are. I wonder what's going on with my music. I think the music's supposed to be playing, but I'm not hearing it. Might be that. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, I can start hearing it faintly in the background. Oh, that's better. Yeah, so, the Finns join the Axis, and, uh, not that it really matters, because, um, there's nothing up here. <laughs> and the, uh, the Hungarians are quickly annihilating every single Soviet army in their path. They're about to completely destroy Odessa, and uh, they're also going to take over the Crimea very easily. As you can see, there's almost nothing here. If, if I was controlling the Hungarians, I would have already taken over Stalingrad by now, but, uh, <laughs> Let's uh, not worry about that right now, because I've got other important stuff to do, like uh, you know, actually finishing these guys off. That was a bloody battle. That yeah, was too. Mostly for the Irish side. God, Manstein is still there, so is Von Kleist. God, can you imagine if I used Von Kleist? <laughs> Wait, I am using Von Kleist, never mind. Yeah, once you use, once you take over York, that's pretty much it. Oh, those idiots are attacking me over there. <laughs> oh, look at that. We won the Battle of Tipperary. Got another assault concentration, another guerrilla warfare, another large formations. That's nice. Oh, yes. My army is becoming more and more powerful every single day, as if it needs to be. <laughs> uh, I'm too powerful. I swear, I'm too powerful. This is just ridiculous. It's not even fun anymore. <laughs> I don't even want to play this anymore. It's just too much fun. Alright. Well, let's not get completely cocky. I mean, I haven't completely destroyed the Soviet Union yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> to use the absolute extreme of the, of the word yet. <laughs> Oh, who am I kidding? Let's just push through these idiots. Wipe them out off the face of the earth. 
guys have no chance. Not you. Not you. Not. They have, they have just about as much chance as a snowflake's chance in hell. <laughs> and even that's not not as much chance as they've got. They've got less chance than that even. They've got so little chance. It's like. I don't even know. It's it's so impossible to even tell. It's just you know it's, it's beyond all comprehension how how little of a chance they have now. It's like take the worst possible situation you can think of, you know, in any any war situation or anything, you know, anything really. You know, take any one of those situations, you know, any one of them. I mean, literally any single one, and you will find. That, uh, that, that that this is um this is worse than that one for the Soviets that is I I mean they have been completely and utterly thrashed in this war in every <laughs> conceivable <laughs> stretch of the imagination um <laughs> I mean this totally this I just can't stop I swear to God I mean this has never happened. This has never happened for me. I have never conquered the Soviet Union this fast. I mean, my god, it's only... It's only July 31 of 1940, and I've already taken over... I just can't stop! I swear to god, I know, I know, I know, this, this is just... Oh god, I swear to god, <laughs> I just can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop. Alright, maybe I just gotta think of something else. Oh, that just doesn't work. Fuck it. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. I cannot stop. So I guess I just gotta barrel through it and try to do it as fast as I can before I go go completely insane. You know, just get nuts and everything else. You know, Gulf of Finland. Oh, because uh, the Finns are uh, in the war. Yeah, so we got even more doctrines. Oh, oh, we got more jet re engine research. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Norway is revolting. Norway is revolting. Yeah, remember this army? Guys, go crush them, please. I said go crush them. Are you kidding me? I can't even move over there? Oh god, I gotta go through Sweden. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter anyway. I can still get there anyway. So it's no big deal. <laughs> they can only move there, so I'll just I'll just surround them right there. What fools. <laughs> Probably the worst place that they could possibly revolt in. Where they literally have no infrastructure to retreat into. Yeah, 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 Nepal. Just, just keep taking random territories that I can't defend because I don't have my troops over there. That's right. That's right. Just keep, just keep undermining my inability to defend myself, you know, on every single front. <laughs> I wish they'd just give up, you know, I, I mean, the Soviets are being, it's so obvious, it's so obvious in so many ways, and yet they still continue to fight me, I mean, it's just, you know, I appreciate their effort, but it's going to ut complete and utter waste, I mean, <laughs> What can I say? I mean, what what can I say really? <laughs> what what is there to say at this point? I mean, it's so obvious what the situation is. It's it's just it's beyond all comprehension that, that the Germans could possibly have been this successful. I mean, can you even imagine? Can you even imagine? Look, look. I just want to show you how fucking ridiculous this is. I literally ordered the Japanese to attack Australia, and they've already invaded Sydney. They've already taken over the major city of Australia. I mean, that is how devastating <laughs> it has become. The, it, the, the Japanese Navy is completely unopposed. They literally put, like, a tiny force of, <laughs> of Marines it with with the support of like a bunch of uh, carriers and uh, destroyers, and it was completely unopposed. They just invaded Australia like that. They didn't even they, they didn't even try to fight back against them. I mean, my God. <laughs> and and what's even more s funny about it is is that the Australians aren't even the leaders of the of the Allies. So the idea that they 
they would even be able to put up a fight to begin with anyway is just even more ludicrous. I mean, I mean, what can I say? What, what can I really say about this that will not just be the exact same thing that I've been saying for like two, two million years, you know? I mean, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> it is so over in, in every, <laughs> in every conceivable way, and there is no way that this is going to go in any, any possible way towards what, what they want, you know, at least. I mean, it's over. It's completely and utterly over. I mean, look at this. I literally ordered this division that's got almost nothing in organization to attack this guy, and, I, and he was losing, so I decided to pull him back. And now, they're attacking this one division, this one tank division, led by a terrible general, you know, and well, he's okay, but he's not great. And, uh, and they're, they're pushing two divisions over there, and they, and they can't even begin to do anything. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at this! Four percent. They're beating him by four percent. Nothing more. I could literally order atta an attack on these guys, and that would completely halt that attack right there. See? I just won that battle. I lost like two men, they lost like fifty, or some, some ungodly number. Oh, and they surrounded Guderian and Rommel. Like, that means anything at all. I can just push right through them. <laughs> oh, man. And I even took fewer losses than them in that one battle that I actually lost. Boo-hoo! Yes, the Soviets have infinite troops, I know. They don't win- they're not winning anyway. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Yep, those four infantry divisions cannot kill the tank division. That's right. Yeah, they took Smolensk back. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I could even surround this division right here if I really wanted to. I, I, I could just move some tanks over there, in fact. Yeah, let's just move one tank division down there. Let's move Schwappenberg down there to help surround these guys. I'll move them right there. Alright. Yep, I just annexed Ireland. Nice. Yep, that's the end of Ireland. Now I could just send all these guys to the Eastern Front. Like, it doesn't even mean anything at all. And it doesn't. So let's, uh, attach all these guys. We attach them to the, uh, level 4. We attach all these guys to the, uh, level 3 over there. Dublin, these transports out over there, and then we'll move them all the way over to Leningrad, and then we'll move them up into the line and have them continue to break through the Soviet lines to finally push up to Moscow and finally defeat the Soviet Union. And that will be the end of Stalin and all of his bullshit. Pushed on past Kiev. I just wanted to point something out as well. 
my plan is going perfectly. See, what I did here is that I went after Langrad first, that destroyed all of his resistance up here, he's got nothing up here. Now I can just come in from the, s from the north, just push right on to Moscow while the forces in the middle beat the shit out of their troops. That's it. And you look at this front, look at that wave. That is exactly how I fight, and it works. It always works. You've just got to be extremely determined and, s and stable and do not go after one area over another. Always make sure that every single front is moving up as fast as the others because when you move up one front more than the other, then it gets out of position and then you start to lose your position and everything else. attacking that over and over again until Boltman finally gets in a position to attack and then he'll push them back quicker than they pushed me back. And now let's completely surround those guys. Where was I losing? Oh yeah, that's right. Alright guys, just pull back. We lost too many men. Have a good rest and I'll have my tank division come up and push those idiots out of there who think that they've won. You move up. Actually, no, you move over there and then you'll kill those guys who are thinking that they're going to surround my Panzer divisions over there. <sighs> and now we finally attack the idiots. One. Oh, of course, they want to give me fuel. No thanks, I don't need it. <laughs> Alright, let's push these dumb shits out of Smolensk. Yeah, that should work. Hmm, what do you know? Guess they decided to attack me right then. Alright, fine. See how you do against the uh, combined martyr of the German army. Oh, you're attacking one of my tank divisions. Nope, you're not. Once again, you fail. Just as before. division over there. Alright, I'll move these guys down to help these guys. I'd also like to point out that the Soviet Union is about half of the way towards uh, surrendering. And uh, once I take Moscow, Odessa, and a bunch of other cities, I'm sure they will quickly surrender. Their national unity is so low for what it should be right now, it's, it's a parody of what it really should be. I just completely annihilate any chance that they possibly could have of being able to resist my attacks or anything else, you know. And in reality, that really is what you should use intelligence for, is always to undermine your enemies resolve, you know, and their ability to wage war. Because when you do that, they have no chance. Then you've got them on the run, you can do whatever you want. You annihilate the morale, you annihilate their will to fight, and you annihilate every conceivable way they could possibly defend against you.
know, I love how they order co these just constant assaults. You know, it's like they think that they're winning, but they're not. You know, I, I, I'm not. E I'm not even sure how to measure the uh, kilometers, but I'm sure I'm with, you know, within a hundred kilometers of uh, Moscow now from uh, multiple flanks. God, look at all these infantry I've got right there. Those must be the guys from the Hungarian front. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna load all these guys under the boats, take them over to uh, Eastern Front. Let's load all the tank divisions first, since we need all all the guys we can get. Those four tank divisions should come in handy. Move them right to Leningrad. Oh, look at that. I've got some guys I can employ. Oh, naval base. Alright, I'll keep that. Just in case I want to still invade the U.S. The way that I was thinking about before, where I uh, used that, uh, that guy's tactic of uh, building a naval base where I want to invade. into the fight more. Everything to the front. Must defeat the Soviet Union. Imperative. Can we 
take out the Soviet Union, we will have won the war completely and utterly. The U.S. won't even stand cl close to a chance. Their army is uh, tatters compared to the uh, is in tatters compared to the uh, Soviet Union. You know, I'm crushing the Soviet Union. It's just how pathetic it is. Yep, Hungarians have finally taken over Odessa. Now they're at 50%. Surrender progress. They take back Smolensk. Take Moscow and a bunch of these other cities, they should quickly surrender. All taking out Moscow might even be enough. And I was thinking that this tank, uh, tank division under Bush might even be able to do it. This is pretty weak over here. I might be able to just rush them and take it right out from under them. Let's see if I can get a good attack going on here on their massive uh, tank division here. I might just be able to win the war without actually fighting all these battles over here. This has probably been the hardest front right here. This stuff right here. This has been the easiest by far because I've definitely had the most uh, troops up here. Oh, well, would you look at that. I think things are about to change down on the middle front. Let's move these guys down here. And, uh, let's move those guys. Yeah, we'll wait until those boats get back there. Oh, boy. <laughs> when those guys show up, things are going to change. Oh, man, are they going to change. Hey, uh, you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cowards. Think you're gonna get away from me like that? Huh, <laughs> you were sorely mistaken. Oh, look at that, they actually beat my tank division there. Yeah, not many of these tank commanders that I put in charge are actually that good. I mean, they're not even close to, uh, the quality of, uh, Manstein or Rommel or Guderian. Or any of these guys, big names, you know, guys who practically pioneered, uh, you know, whole idea of uh, Blitzkrieg, which is essentially what I'm doing, you know, I mean, I'm basically following the exact uh, pattern of what they probably would have prescribed as the uh, proper uh, method to conducting Blitzkrieg, you know. I see. Interesting. So they decided to take back that territory and uh, leave themselves completely exposed in my line. How oh, nice! They just lost another useless. They, they just uh, they just moved up pointlessly, you know, in order to in order to lose another one of their divisions. How oh, excellent, isn't that? Just the idea they would waste men like that just to gain a tiny amount of land for no purpose whatsoever, even though they're losing every single battle and are about to lose the war completely and utterly. Beautiful, ain't it? It's just like World War One, you know? You throw a million men away for nothing, just so just so you can get a little bit of land that's automatically taken back, you know? What a perfect strategy, you know? Make that just grand. Doing the stuff that doesn't work over and over and over again, and then when you lose, you blame it on your men for being stupid stupid enough to uh, think that you're you're the, s you're the best guy in the universe for just sacrificing them into fucking machine guns. Yeah, that's really, that's really clever, you know? What a novel idea. Oh, and I think, yep, I've got all my CAGs now, so now I, now I just gotta put these uh, planes onto my uh, carriers. And then I will have a complete carrier air force fleet. And then I can send my carriers off and they'll just destroy everything even faster than the battleships. Oh, that's right, I gotta put them into two group, uh, two CAG groups for them to rebase. Yeah, there we go.
orientation, so to speak. They're so close to Moscow now, it's ridiculous. up and they're doing this without any help whatsoever just just their two divisions just crushing everything in their way good lord look at how close I am to Moscow if I put all four of these guys over there they're just gonna break right through that line <laughs> won't even have a chance I won't even need to use Bush he's so fucking far away it doesn't even matter I could literally take it right now with the infantry fuck it I'm gonna do, it. do exactly that Let's just run the goddamn clock. I bet I'm gonna make them surrender right as soon as I take it. <laughs> Look at this front. I mean, it's like, it's completely collapsing. Soviets are just... <laughs> they're just throwing every man into the goddamn fire. Stalin is just such a fucking coward, you know? He doesn't even... He didn't even come close to considering the idea that destroying his entire officer infrastructure was one of the stupidest moves in the universe. I mean... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just... I just have no patience for men that are just willing to murder their own people for nothing, you know? To me, that's just the ultimate form of cowardice. Stupidity. I mean, it's bad enough murdering, you know, innocent human beings for nothing, you know, but, you know, murdering your own people is even worse. It's like with those fucking insane assholes like the, uh, Jones Temple guys, you know, did. Where they just made guys ma commit mass suicide and just, you know, murder themselves for absolutely nothing. It's on par, if not even worse, you know. For the kind of lunacy that that truly was. Alright, alright take over that one territory, you assholes. You have 15 million men, I'm not gonna stop you. Alright, 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 just stop attacking it. If you can't break through, then don't bother with it. It's not that big of a deal. We're about to win the war anyway. I am so close to Moscow, it's just ridiculous. I almost wonder if I pushed up too far that literally once, as soon as I take over Moscow and I annex the Soviet Union, if I'm going to win the game right there and not even be allowed to take over the, uh, um, of the U.S. I, I'm not, I'm not sure if the game automatically ends and you can't, uh, can't do anything, but I'm looking at the victory conditions here and I'm getting pretty goddamn close here. I mean, I, I've got eight, 8 eight out of 15, none of the others have any of them, of course, because they were complete shit. So yeah, I've done Barbarossa, I'm going. I'm about to take Moscow. I'll take over Stalingrad when I annex the Soviet Union. I have I have Gibraltar right now, I, I don't know why it's not uh, giving me that. Um, 
It might be that I have to control... Oh yeah, I gotta control Tangiers too. So yeah, if I take over Tangiers, then, uh, or if the n Nationalist Spanish uh, join the Axis, then I'll be fine. Oh, I see, I've gotta control uh, Hawaii as well. So it's not completely over. Gotta control Port Morrisby as well. Ah, I see the Japanese have invaded both New Zealand and Australia, and they're pretty much annihilating everything in sight, so, yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Alright, I don't need that much production. I actually need to put a lot into upgrades. No, not very much, but still some, you know. Enough that it's still a point, you know, to actually build it. Look, look at how fast this tank did it. You know how fast these tank divisions are going to come into the fight. They're going to be available in December. War will have been won by then. Oh, look at that. Yeah, these guys have no organization to speak of. I just make them draw back like it means anything. Yeah, that's right. Attack my infantry divisions with your HQs. That, that works. That always works, you idiots. Okay, let's push this tank division up here too. Speaking of which, the uh, Soviets being stu stupidity, you know, exhibiting massive stupidity, they've killed Leon Trotsky, as if it matters at all. Yep. Yep, Stalin pretty much betrayed him and then forced him to go into exile and then murdered him in Mexico City, right in the middle of the, uh, you know, the Germans taking over pretty much everything both in real life and in this. Nope. Three more territories. It's almost empty. Oh, let's build more of them. Just gonna load these guys on the boats too. Put them in Leningrad, just like the others. Where are those tank divisions anyway? Oh yes, they're all the way over there. Let's just move them into that. That's right, attack my Mountaineer divisions with your HQs. Always works. Good job, Stalin. You have the best defensive strategy ever. Finally won the damn battle of Baghdad, Jesus. <laughs> see who's the leader of the Axis now. I mean, allies. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, it's Oman. <laughs> Still not Australia or New Zealand. Not that it matters anyway, considering they're probably about to get destroyed anyway. Well, the Japanese aren't very efficient, though, when it comes to invading stuff. I mean, they, they've they been doing pretty well in beating back the Soviet Union, and, uh, and uh, they took over China pretty fast, too, but uh, in all honesty, they don't seem to be managing their empire very well. <laughs> Unlike me. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Yep. Soviets are at 53.9% away from surrendering. Or rather, they're 53% uh, into surrendering. They're even less than that in uh, actual surrender progress. Now let's just put these guys up into two and have them attack the north and the south. Alright, Ron, we'll try to take back Bryansk. 
Oh, you little idiots. You think that you're going to surround my troops like that? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. No, I'm going to take Moscow right out from under you, and you're not going to do a damn thing about it, because you don't have any fucking clue about how to fight. All right, guys. Break through. If you can, that is. If the game wants you to. Heavy tank gun advance. I'll go deal with them, stupid Italians. Look at that, they even got an HQ right there, and it's just moving away. What are these guys, Poles? Gotta be, it's right next to Krakow. Hey, uh, Schreppenberg, will you uh, deal with those guys there that are completely surrounded? Thanks. Means a lot to me. Yep, these guys are just completely pushing through. I, you know, it just shows how ridiculously powerful I am now. I mean, these guys are literally... They, they literally are not even in supply. You know, they're completely surrounded, and that they're still pushing through the, ger the, the Soviet lines. That's how ridiculously powerful I am now. I can literally defeat them without even fighting them at, mo at my peak efficiency. I'm going through tank divisions with infantry divisions. It's it's beyond a massacre. so close to taking over Moscow, it's ridiculous. I'll be there within days. Alright, alright, you can kill off a hundred of my guys. Every single one of your divisions. Not a big deal. Yep, there we go, that's the real attack. Now we're gonna take back these guys. And now we are sieging Moscow. It's about time. Ah, look at that. Well, we finally won the Battle of Bryansk. <laughs> now Rommel's gonna babysit Guderian. And switched hands. <laughs> I'm just throwing a random attack. It doesn't even matter what I do. Yeah, that's right, those guys just keep... Revolting everywhere. These guys are so finished, it's ridiculous. I mean, look at that. I'm beating the, the forest defending Moscow while I'm surrounded. Oh, let's see, when are, when are they going to arrive? 2nd of the September. Completely surrounded, and they're about to take over Moscow. <laughs> Gee, this sounds like something, doesn't it? Sounds like Stalingrad. <laughs> nope, ain't gonna happen. Oh yeah, you you bet. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna take out those four divisions that have pushed all the way into Moscow. You think you're really gonna do that, you fools? Oh, thirty. Excuse me, it's actually the uh, 30th. Yep, there we go, it just took over Moscow. <laughs> Alright, let's look at their surrender progress. Oh my god, it is so close, 77%. Yeah, it could be a hell of a lot closer, but uh, for what it is, it's pretty damn good anyway. So, um... But then again, it might actually decrease a lot more, and they might even just surrender right there. I think there is an automatic trigger that once you take over Moscow, that's like a huge uh, decrease to their uh, ability to fight you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a special event or something, but hey, what the hell. I've taken over Moscow, so it's like 77% of 
Yeah, they've got 77% uh, surrender progress, so if I just take over a few more cities, it should be, that should be it. So Sevastopol, you know, Stalingrad, once I take over Stalingrad, that should be it. All the rest of these cities, unless there is a special event that triggers, but, uh, you know, it's over. That's all there is to it, it's over. <laughs> There's no other way to describe it other than it's just over. I mean, they'll fight me, they'll fight me with the force of a thousand suns, but they, they will never, they will never be me, ever. There's no way they can fight me at this point. They have totally lost, and there is, there is no turning back from this horrendous resolution. broken, and there's nothing putting them back together. The Hungarians have finally pushed up to Sevastopol. I bet they're going to take it over really easily. I guess I should say Stalingrad is a uh, target for them. probably go down much faster once the uh, Hungarians take over Sevastopol and possibly even Stalingrad. I believe Stalingrad was when was the uh, major city that I had to take when I uh, when I defeated the Soviets uh, a couple years back and I was playing this on easy. I think once I did that they pretty much gave in. That was the end of them. Oh, pff, never mind. this event fired, it may actually be the end of the U of the uh, Soviets. As dawn breaks, German Panthers smash through hastily erected barriers on the streets of Moscow and half-tracks roll onto Red Square, unloading their cargo of troops. Thick, b billowing smoke from the many fires raging in the suburbs rises into the air as the German infantry storms the Kremlin. Grenades and flamethrowers are needed to fight the stubborn NKVD holdouts who seem intent on defending every inch of the complex. With Moscow finally under German control, explosions rock the city as timed explosives left by the retreating Soviets detonate. The Russian capital is left a burning ruin, but to the relief of the Soviet leadership, Lenin's embalmed corpse has been safely evacuated east. <laughs> Where? St Siberia? <laughs> the Japanese are going to see, see an end to that. Is this the end for Russia? I hope so. <laughs> I'm tired of fighting them. They're irritating. They're the most irritating guys in the entire game. Yep, so they've completely surrounded my guys at uh, Moscow, but it's not going to matter because my guys are super strong. And uh, I'm going to quickly push through and uh, take one of these territories. So if they do manage to, you know, attack them with everything, they still will have a way out. So, Yep. Let's just uh, finish these guys off and the end of it. Probably won't get to it to the end by the end of this... Uh, episode, but uh, you never know. I might be able to do it. Th and, then, and there may even be a special event that might even trigger, you know? You never know. Sometimes you just get lucky that way. Yeah, so it seems like they're not very intent on uh, ordering any attacks, so I'm going to oblige them and order one myself. Break through their lines.
forces are displayed all over the place. There's just no organization whatsoever. Probably all of them are pushed up so far. They're just completely out of supplies and everything. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. They've decided to use their brilliant tactic of putting a garrison in a surrounded city. <laughs> They've decided to put it to good use against the uh, Hungarians, who apparently are going to just smash through it anyway and take over Sevastopol in a matter of days. Oh, looks like the game's starting to die, so I better wrap this up pretty quickly here. That's right, just one more day. Oh, they're attacking the HQs again. No matter. I'm honestly surprised that the uh, Soviets haven't surrendered already. I mean, it seems like they're just holding on by just a string, you know. I mean, 77% surrender progress. I mean, come on. Vladivostok, Moscow, and Leningrad have fallen. So is uh, Odessa. I mean, they're finished. I, I, I honestly don't get it, really. I mean, the idea that the Soviets would just be able to hang on this much. To me... You just think that the Soviets really would not have this much resolve, especially since they had lost so goddamn many men at the start of this war. But, I guess Stalin is just pushing them on, you know, and those fucking German machine guns, you know, as much as he possibly can. Idiot. <laughs> he was the bastard who attacked me anyway, so this is all his fault. I think I'm going to run it one more day, and then I'm going to stop it here, because the game is obviously starting to die a little bit. Oh, look at that. Bulgaria is starting to align to the axis. Yeah, I can sort of see why. Yeah, there's really nothing anywhere else past uh, Moscow, just minor cities for the most part. So yeah, Stalingrad should be the key. The Hungarians are probably going to push right through uh, Sevastopol pretty soon. Either that or I'll have to send one tank division down there to uh, remove the uh, threat. Yes, 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 yes. I'll just let the Italians deal with that. <laughs> In fact, I'm thinking about it now, maybe I could get like transit rights from Persia. Hmm, unlikely. What about Turkey? Will they accept it? No, oh, probably not. Alright. I was just thinking there might be a really easy way to get the get to those uh, oil fields of Baku. That'd be really nice. It wouldn't matter at all, I mean, it's considering I'm just, you know, on the top of the world now, basically.
Oh, look at that. They took back Kalenin. <laughs> yeah, I really don't care. Do you think I would care if you're doing this much? <laughs> I will trounce you. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, and by the way, I was also looking at my uh, tank divisions. Apparently, I am using the later version of the Panzer IV because it's even got the uh, the 50 millimeter armor with the uh, skirts in, which is uh, German for the you know the uh, tank uh, skirts, armored skirts, which is the things that were put on the sides of the uh, treads to keep them from being blown off by uh, artillery fire and stuff like that. Just added protection to the tank, you know. I'm sure the Finns are really enjoying this. <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> That's right, attack three of my infantry divisions with one of your useless tank divisions, you fool. That's right, surround Rommel and, uh, and uh, Guderian like it's going to do anything. Still going to push through that area anyway, it doesn't even matter. That's right, push up through Brigansk, I'm not even going to lose that territory in one bit. That's right, Canada, just keep taking over random territories like it even matters one bit. I can't even believe that the Soviets have this much manpower. I mean, I mean, I have I have completely destroyed them in every conceivable way. I mean, you just look at their fr their fronts. I mean, they they have compacted so many men into these spots. I mean, look at look at how many divisions are in some of these spots. I mean, it's just ridiculous. They they are just holding on by a goddamn thread. You know, if I if I had if I just had a you know, like maybe ten more tank divisions, you know, I could spread them out all over the place and I'd just completely annihilate them in one swift stroke, you know, I mean, just ridiculous. They wouldn't even have close to a chance. I mean, right now, you know, they do have sort of a chance because they're able to push me back at various spots and keep me on the uh, defensive, you know, not just the offensive, but kind of the defensive as well. But it doesn't matter. I, because it's it, it's so it's so beyond any any conceivable you know m mode of uh, of a uh, defense now that they literally could they literally could beat me in every single uh, every single part of the battle right now and I'd still win anyway so yeah it's completely over the fact that they've been able to hold on this long is very surprising if you ask me. Yep, we just took over Sevastopol. Let's see how much do we have to take over for them. So 80, so probably about, about probably about 20. So I'd say Stalingrad, and then maybe some of, some of these other cities. So yeah. So if I take over all this stuff and they take over Stalingrad, that should be it. Hungarians should just be able to push up right through. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it here because uh, my game is starting probably probably about to die and everything. So uh, let's just let's just stop it here. So. Yep, Moscow has fallen, you know, Leningrad's fallen, Soviets are completely on the run, for the most part. Their army is in complete, is, a, is in complete tatters, they really don't have any, anything in terms of any kind of uh, resistance to offer me, and, well, frankly, I've won the war, you know, I mean, the Soviet Union is finished, they've lost everywhere, they're about to lose their entire country, I mean, and... Common turn and both the common turn and the allies will be completely crushed and then, you know, I'll just go around conquering all these random places, making sure all these rebellions are destroyed, and then I will set my eyes on the Americas and, you know, kill kill off Canada and the US and that'll be it. You know, and we'll have taken over the entire world. So see you later guys. Bye bye.